Here, let's compare a little. Which number is more? 7 tenths or 7 hundredths? Well, that's an easy question, isn't it? If you colored 7 little pieces here, that would be 7 hundredths. But to color 7 tenths, I would have to color 7 whole columns. So surely that is more. You can think the same way here. Here's 30 hundredths and 3 hundredths. Well, it's easy. 30, of course, is more than 3. And then 5 and 4 tenths. 5 and 4 hundredths. The question is, which one is more? 4 tenths or 4 hundredths? And again, you could use this and reason in a similar way. 4 little pieces is 4 hundredths. 4 whole columns would be 4 tenths. So that is more. Here. Now, we're going to mark the decimals on the number line. What is it, Matthew? Oh, Matthew's asking for permission to jump on the number line. He likes jumping on the number line. Well, maybe. This is big enough. Maybe you can do that. Let's give them a problem at the same time. Let's say Matthew is right here. This tick mark. What tick mark is it? Where is Matthew? Okay, here's three and four. But the number line is divided into ten parts. So each one is a tenth. So Matthew is at three and two tenths. Now Matthew jumps. How much did he jump? From three and two tenths to three and five tenths. So how much did he jump? He jumped three tenths. We could write an addition. 3.2 plus three tenths is 3.5. Okay, thank you, Matthew. Enough jumping now. Let's mark this on the number line. 3.09. Well, you see, the number line here is divided into tenths. So here I have 3.1. Here I have 3.2. Well, this is here 3.2. Easy to mark, because it's right there, it's this one here, okay? But where is 3.09? Because none of these tick marks will be that. We need to now imagine that if this was divided into 10 little parts, just like I had there. Okay, didn't go evenly, anyway. Then, here would be 3.01, and 3.09 is this one. The Tick mark just before 3.1. Over here is 3.09. 3.82. I will first go to 3.8, or 3 and 8 tenths over here, and then 2 hundredths beyond that. So two little thingies beyond that, somewhere there. 3.65. First go to 3.6. 3 and 6 tenths here. And then go 5 hundredths more. It will be exactly in the midpoint here. And then lastly, 3.9. Well, that is easy. It is exactly the tick mark here for 3 and 9 tenths. Compare again. Now, if you're a student, pause the video now and try to compare on your own and see if you have understood these things in the lesson and if you can compare which number is greater. I have one and one hundredth, one and one tenth. One and one tenth is more. Three and a half, three and five hundredths. Three and a half is way more than five hundredths. Imagine five little hundredths from here. 2.70 and 2.7. These have to be equal. Okay, 70 hundredths is the same as seven tenths. And lastly, we will write these numbers in order from smallest to largest. Let's first see if we can pick the smallest number. There's three point somethings and five point somethings. So it's one of these that starts with, with three. And it's not going to be 3.5 anything. This one here has zero tenths and five hundredths. This one here has 55 hundredths, 51 hundredths. And this one would have 50 hundredths if I, if I tag another zero to it. So, this is the smallest number. Then I have these three to order, and this one comes next. Three and a half. Then comes this one, 3.51. 
51 hundredths. And then this 3 and 55 hundredths. Lastly, we have these two. This is 5 and 13 hundredths. This is 5 and it would have 30 hundredths, okay? Remember that 3 tenths is equal to 30 hundredths. So I can see that this is more than this. So 5 and 13 hundredths is next, and lastly 5 and 30 hundredths, or 5 and 3 tenths. Okay, so we're all done now.